all right. <laughs> no. Um, and that's what I had with, with that tune. It's sort of, it's okay to, to, to um, want to drive this car off the side of the motorway at 100 miles an hour. in the song that gave you this feeling like was it a bass line was it a like some sort of sound um it was everything i mean specifically it had um like a million hi-hats going in different places um which i thought was amazing i mean it was sort of like a drum and bass track but just so not a drum and bass track um it was it was sort of everything that i hoped drum and bass was going to be but it never t never was um, well, at least not initially. I mean, it's still going. You know, when I first sort of started hearing drum and bass, I thought, this is it. This is this is punk again. This is this is. You know, I went to a couple of drum and bass clubs in Bristol, and the, and the, it was just fucking amazing, brilliant. And then it all just I don't know. It didn't really happen because I think I I sort of think that it never you know it never crossed over the edge enough. For it to it to for its power to have really been used to its full potential. I mean, if that had been, a, you know, if like early drum and bass had gotten properly got onto mainstream radio, it would have been a, you know, like a bomb going off. But it never happened. Instead, we got garage. And then two step. Yeah, nice. <laughs> that ain't punk.